What's up everyone? We are here for vlog number one of what goes on after an investor purchases a house. Everybody loves the befores and afters of seeing a dump turn into a masterpiece, but nobody really knows what actually goes on behind the scenes to get to that point. And they think, I just wanna be the next fix and flipper and I'm gonna make hundreds of thousands of dollars at the end, but they have no idea what really goes on to actually make that money and nothing's a guarantee. So I'm gonna show you exactly what goes on here for step one. So right here, I'm standing at the newest acquisition. It's 201 North First Street over in Bethpage. This right now is a three bed, two bath house that has been completely basically trashed for years and years to come. Holes in the roof, ceiling has everything falling down. Basically everything needs to be completely remodeled and gutted. This house was purchased for $400,000 on a short sale. And now the investor is going to basically add a full dormer upstairs, turn this from a three bed, two bath to a five bedroom, four bath house and turn it into an actual absolute monster of a home. But what is, it, what is the next steps? What really goes on right now? And that's something that we're gonna to talk to you about. The first step you have to do to be able to take this one floor house and turn it into a two story home is you have to go get plans drawn up with an architect, file for your permits and get them approved. We've been going back and forth with the town. We actually started the permit process before the house even closed to get a head start because everybody knows the permit process takes months. So every single month, that you're holding a house, it costs money, right? You're paying taxes, you're paying holding costs on that money. Every month that you have delayed costs you money. So we got a head start, filing for the permits, filing the plans with the architect and everybody involved so we can get the plans approved so we can start framing and demoing and everything in between. The last thing you want right now is a stop work order because everybody knows as soon as they slap that sign on, it's all hell to pay and your fines and everything else adds two, three times the expenses. So let's go check out the side and see exactly what the condition of the overall house is right now. So you see, as you come around the side, you have your old electrical panel. You basically can't even see it anymore. Your meter, good old hundred amps. That's going to have to get upgraded. All new electric, all new plumbing, all new wiring. Everything is basically going to be knocked down to the foundation and uh, you're gonna have a full finished basement. All the way up is gonna be brand new, everything all the way around, windows, siding, you name it, will be brand new. At one point, this house used to be rented in the basement, so this was the uh, second driveway that they used for the tenant. You can see as you're walking through, all the windows are shot, there's been water and everything seeping in the house. The roof has tarps on it to try to stop the rain from coming in. This was actually the door going down to the basement for the tenant. And for what carport this is with, you name it, growing here. This is definitely uh, what you get as an investor. Everybody says you make your money when you purchase, right? You never make your money on the resale because if you purchase too high, no matter how good you make it or how whatever corners you cut, you're never going to be able to recoup the money that you're supposed to be making. So make sure you purchase the house at the right number and you know that it's gonna sell for this and what your cost is going to be to fix or build that house. Right now, you're probably at maybe 100, 150, maybe even $200, depending on your finishes per square foot. So if you're making this a 3000 square foot home, you do the math. If you were building from the ground up, you're spending $150 a square foot, you know exactly where you gotta be to purchase it. If you know you're gonna sell it for a million, 900, whatever it may be, you gotta make sure you know your numbers from day one, super important. Everything will be fully brand new. You have an ensuite master bathroom. You'll have over 3000 square feet of living space, plenty of space if you wanna bring family members or if you just have a big family in general. Stay tuned. This is gonna be part one of the vlog. Next step is gonna be demolition and all the junk removal coming out and you'll meet us back here to see exactly the plans, the pictures from the architect on what the house is gonna look like and see what it looks like once it's fully demoed and everything is open. So stay tuned for the next one, see you there.